Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Chemical Reactions. I'm Chuck. And I'm Juliet. And first of all, as always, a shout out to our chem squad. The squad you can join by simply clicking a button. It's like right there. The, the subscribe button. Or more like right here. It's red. It says subscribe. And you click it, you're easy in. enough. Yeah. Yep. Super easy. Join the chem squad. Tons of benefits. You yeah. know, like... Being subscribed to us. Yeah. That's a big one right there. That's good enough. You can also click that little notification bell if you always want to know when we upload a new video because we always have some new content that we're working on, so you might want to do that too. By the way, speaking of YouTube, uh, I don't know if it's new or if it's because we just got big enough to unlock it, but there's this community tab, tab that we now have available where it used to be discussion. You know, discussion, I never quite knew what it was supposed to be, right? I think we put some, some comments in there and you guys put some comments. Now with community, we can actually like put some gifts, I guess, you know, if you ever feel so inclined. We can also put some polls, which I, you know, like right off the bat, I'm thinking this is pretty cool because we get obviously a lot of requests from you a guys. A lot of requests. Which we're super thankful for, but a lot of requests for coming. Sometimes the same band, but different songs. Oh, yeah. So we're scrolling through and we're wondering, all right, so we definitely need to do this band, but which song should we do? Imagine if we could do a poll, you know, and just have a couple of the, the songs that you guys requested listed, ask you to vote on it. That's what democracy is for. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say like science, like analytics, but yeah, democracy. Democracy. Democracy rules. Exercise your right to vote. That's right. You got to got to fight for your right to vote. I was going to say the party, but you know, different vote. song. Okay. All right, so today, uh, that's another one that was hugely requested. Uh, this is the band Sabaton, and the song we're going to be reacting to is called Bismarck. Which, uh, Sabaton, what, what do we know? It's a Swedish, Swedish band, power metal. Power metal. Swedish power metal oh, yeah, band. That sounds energetic. And um, right off the bat with the song's title, Bismarck was the guy who uh, unified the Prussian states to form Germany in 1871. So pretty cool guy. I think when we were reading a little bit about the band, uh, we found out that the majority of their songs are about um, historical events, wars, all that, acts of heroism. So I can understand why they'd be doing something about Bismarck because he was a pretty go cool guy. He had some interesting political techniques to get all the Germans together. So Yeah, so we don't know anything. It was the first time I heard about the band when Me I too. saw some requests. It sounds a bit like maybe Rammstein in terms of their, um, their focus, maybe? Swedish Rammstein. Like, yeah, like Swedish Rammstein, but talking about Germany. Right. Bismarck, right? Yeah. I don't know. I guess we'll see. As always, the link to the original, uh, it's going to be the official music video that we're going to be watching. The link to the original is going to be in the description below. So feel free to click it, go watch it at your own convenience. Um, make sure to like this video. Leave a comment with any suggestions you may have. You can share this video with your friends if you want, because we always want more members of our little chem squad over here. And I think we're just going to get right into it. Yeah, and join our sosh. Is that what the cool kids say? The sosh? Like no. the social media? No, 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 no. no. Right. You can follow us on Insta. Uh, a link and for that. Twit. Is the, no. But both those links for Instagram and Twitter will be in the description box down below. So feel free to check that out if you want to. All right, let's go. Sabaton, Bismarck, let's do this. The, the images are modern, but the sound sounds like 1940s. Yeah. Those the band members? I don't know. They look metal enough. So, did you find the boat? Kind of looks like an action movie. I know. That's pretty cool. Alright, there they're setting up. 
That's uh, dope. Time to get rocking. Oh, I like that. Anthem. Where was this film? You guys know. Comment below. Sweden? So I made that that comparison to, to Rammstein without knowing he also rolled his R's just like Till Lindemann, oh. the uh, singer of, of Rammstein. Interesting. I didn't even notice that. Yeah. Kind of sounds, I know I said this earlier, it kind of sounds like a pirate. That's a super cool video though, right? It makes sense because they're on a boat, but he sounds very pirate-like to me. Yeah. And... It's a cool video. Yeah, no, it is a cool video. It I think looks like it was probably it, crazy expensive yeah, to make. Yeah, definitely. All those like war boats and am special effects with the with the cannon. All right, super cool so far. Let's keep it going. Full screen. Yeah. Looks like World War One era. was not around anymore by World War II. No, for sure. The watch that the 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 captain just gave him, they they uh, engraved something on it. Yeah, right? it looks like a code or maybe a date or something. Mm -hmm. So it it means something. I don't know what yet, but this watch has some kind of meaning. Yeah. 
it's on a watch, it's a compass. Ah. We just saw that engraving on the one he was holding. War knows no nation. This video is dedicated to those who fought to the bitter end in the Battle of the Atlantic. What did you think? Well, first of all, it was very clear for, from the way that he was singing that he was telling a story. We haven't really looked at the lyrics yet. But also another thing is that this is, I think, the first music video that we've watched where the band was prominently featured and, like, performing. Yeah. I don't think any other video we've seen there was actually that going on for such, like, an extensive period of time. Yeah, they also had that army look, right, with the, yeah, with the, the cargo, camouflage cargo camo pants. pants. Um, the other thing, so I, I, I know I said, you know, he rolled his R's like, uh, like Till, and maybe from a, you know, kind of a storytelling standpoint, is a bit closer to Hamstein. But um, if I had to say where their music was influenced from, I would probably go a bit more towards Iron Maiden, right, which hmm. we you know, obviously did a couple of days ago. Yeah. Um, very melodic, right? But, but again, you know, kind of the, the pounding uh, music, the pounding instruments, and you know, nice little chorus, very melodic. Um, yeah. I don't know. I I, I liked it. Um, yeah. First time I heard the song. First time I was hearing anything from Sabaton. And I was pretty impressed. This, this is a pretty good band, and the video was. Yeah. Dope. The lead singer kind of looked like a WWE wrestler. Yeah, he was very I could buff. See that. <laughs> I could see that. And the hair. He just looked very the hair buff. And the, mm, the yeah. Uh, and this Manchu. aviator glasses. Yeah. But, yeah. What did you think about the song? I liked it. I thought it's kind of easy to get into, like, a groove with, probably because it is more melodic. What do we know just based, or, or what can we infer based on, on the video? Because I'll admit, I didn't catch many of the lyrics. So based on the video, definitely a naval battle. Yeah, I mean, they right. said the Battle of the Atlantic and the closing little title thing. Um, it kind of seemed like it was um, spanning a couple time periods in the video, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. We saw the, the planes taken off. There were definitely more of the like earlier plane, planes from the 1910s. The, you know, uh, battleships seemed to be much more recent. I said, I said maybe, maybe Second World War era, but they could even be newer than that. Yeah. Uh, and I think the older man that we saw at the end with the compass was probably the same uh, sailor that we saw that kind of jumped into the water with that same compass that he took from the captain. So the Battle of the Atlantic, was that between the Allied forces and the, and, and the Germans? I don't know. I'm, at least in my classes, we haven't specifically gone into those battles but we can look it up okay okay yeah world war ii 1939 the, to 1945 it was a military campaign so it was yeah so it was essentially the war i guess it was the the theater of war that was happening Which on the is atlantic interesting because um usually when you think of naval stuff in world war ii you think of the war in the pacific which was you know the u.s the Marines, and, and yeah, japan. japan yeah but um you know i guess that was part of it too, and we saw the um, torpedoes going underwater. Yeah, I mean, I think I think the Germans were definitely very aggressive in the Atlantic with uh, you know their U boats, obviously the submarines, their their warships as well. They 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 were getting pretty close to the uh, coast of of North America. Yeah. Uh, during a period there, so yeah, um, I've seen. Okay. Um, so, so it was not a specific battle per se. It was kind of the the you know uh, extent of world war Two as fought on the atlantic right okay i've actually seen political cartoons that reference like a public fear that the war would actually reach the north atlantic coast, yeah they, I mean, they north got close. american coast um interesting that they chose to call it bismarck though but it seems like maybe in this context they weren't specifically talking about otto von bismarck but rather a battleship called the bismarck Ah, maybe. Yeah, so let's go through the lyrics. From the mist to shape a ship. Okay, so they kind of that first verse is setting up the the, the ambiance for, for, the, for the ship. It definitely, when he was singing that part, it very much sounded like he was telling a story. Yeah. Pride of a nation, a beast made of steel, Bismarck in motion, king of the ocean. Yeah, so that's it. It's not about the politicians. It's about, it's about, it's about right. a, 
a uh, warship that was that was named Bismarck, I would assume, which I, I'm not familiar with the specific warship, but assuming I, I assume that's that was going. a German ship. Uh, yeah, yeah. He was that made would, to rule the sense. waves across the seven seas, seas to lead the war machine, to rule the waves and lead the Kriegsmarine. Yeah, which yeah, which I assume was the uh, the German marine, yeah. right? The Terror of the Seas, the Bismarck, and the Kriegsmarine. Yeah, two thousand men and fifty thousand tons of steel. So it was a big darn ship. If you have 2,000 men on a ship, it's a, it's a big ship. Set the course for the Atlantic with the, with the allies, allies on, on their, their heel. heel. Yeah. So definitely, yeah, definitely kind of confirms that they were on the German side. Firepower, Firepower firefight, firefight, battle stations keep the target steady in sight. Into formation, the hunt has begun. Death and damnation, the fleet is coming. He was made to rule the way, so the same course again. Yeah. At the bottom of the ocean, the depths of the abyss, they are bound by iron and blood. So I guess they got shut down. That's probably what we saw. Like, you know, when we saw one one warship shoot the other one and then the captain dying, giving his compass to the, the young sailor, I'm assuming that was on the Bismarck. Again, I don't know the history of this specific ship. Right. But that's probably what we were seeing. You know, the Bismarck got, got hit. And then, you know, at the bottom of the ocean, the depths of the abyss, you know, they're they're sinking. They're bound by iron and blood. The flagship of the navy. Okay, so that makes sense. His the guns terror have, of the his seas. Guns have gone silent at last. Yeah. And then. Oh. Yeah. So we really. So yeah. So I guess it's about yeah the Battle of the Atlantic, meaning it's happening in the Second World War. But again, the the planes we saw were those. Maybe. I guess they did probably use some of the same technology of World War One as during the world war ii period although germany was building up their military for quite some time so i would find it surprising that they would be using old style of planes so that yeah, may be they had, yeah, that they had may two, be allied wings, planes. right i think for the for, for the second world war they were down to the that, single that wing. may be allied planes because i know they weren't as prepared for the war especially in the united states yeah maybe so we maybe were recovering from the great depression most of during the interwar period most of that had shut down yeah so that's cool so, so essentially it's, yeah, it's telling the story of, of this huge you know this huge warship. You know the terror of the sea from from the you know, controlled by the German army, uh, German navy that essentially got taken down. That's as the story it's telling. That's that's super interesting. Yeah. Um, much less if I compare that, right? It's a bit more straightforward to kind of read, understand. Obviously, we had to brush up on our historic knowledge to to really get deep into it. But compare that to uh, like Hamstein that has like layers and layers of depth. You're scratching one and trying to get to the other one, and what does that mean? You know, yeah. This is this is you know it's about a naval battle. It's about a big ship going down, and and the video is very much it's very much that, right? Why don't we do metal tomatoes? Okay. What did you think? You go first. All right. I think I would put this one in the '80s. It's definitely a great song. Definitely one I would go back to. Right, 80s, like a movie in the 80s. That's one that I go to watch, really love. Probably buy it when it comes out on, on like streaming. I think same case for this one. I would probably give this bad boy an 85 and would definitely listen to it again. Would be super interested to hear more from, from Sabaton. They certainly piqued my curiosity with this one. I think I'd give it a 79. Okay. Um, I think... I like songs that have a few more layers just because I find it that it's like really fun to break it down. So I like appreciate the historical approach that they took and I thought it was a very cool song to listen to and the video was very fun to watch as well. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know if the, I guess the vocals were really my preferred style, but I did really like the instrumental. Yeah. All right. What did you guys think? What would be your Metal Tomatoes rating for this song? Let us know in the comments. Yeah, down let below. us know in the comments. Um, and then any other songs that we should listen to from Sabaton. I think this is one of their newest one. I probably should have checked that. That's kind of what I assumed that it was one of their their newest singles. So any of the older stuff that we should also you know check out from yeah. Sabaton. Drop some requests and we'll get a poll going for you guys in our newfound community tab. That's right. Boom. Polls. So if you liked our video, if you liked our reaction, you know what to do. Click that like button, comment below, 
We love reading your comments. We do. We do. Yeah, we really do. We spend we spend a lot of time reading. I kind of read the comments sometimes comments. instead of doing my schoolwork. Okay, now I'll do the comments from now on. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so we'll see you know, let let us know what else you would like to, us to to react to next. We got some great stuff. I think I think we're gonna have some some good ones to react to for next week as well. So uh, so yeah, uh, thank you so much for spending a, a few minutes with us, and we will see you next time. Peace.